as you, you are aware, we are reading from the book of Tobit. It is named after the, the hero of the story, uh, Tobit. And today we are hearing this man, who is a hero of this book, complaining. Why? Why? Because things are not going too well with him. He is a happy man, he is a godly man, a holy man, yet people are not making life easy for him and life itself is becoming too burdensome for him. So he prayed that if anything at all, God should just take his life. It's enough for him. And then we are taken to another story for a lady, a young woman, who has been married to seven men already. You know, we are told that uh, the men always die the night before of their wedding. So she was a sad woman. I mean, the scripture says that she always cried because people were insulting her. Why is that your husband keep dying? Keep dying? Why is that you cannot get married? Why they don't have children? You know, people were attacking her left, right. So she was also distressed, wasn't happy at all. So she also said the same thing, God, take my life. It's enough for me. I want to leave this world. Yet we are, we are consoled by the last words of the passage that the prayer of this man, the prayer of this woman, at that moment, uh, won the favor of God on, her, on high. For me, I think uh, we can take a lesson from that. You see, God still listens to our prayers. I don't know that you are aware. Our prayers are still heard by God. Uh, prayers still go high to God in heaven. If you think that your prayers are not being answered, if you think that your prayers are not reaching to God, that should not tell you to stop praying, no. Keep praying. God himself will send his angel to you at your point of need. Amen. Jesus also talks about the same story, so to say, when the men come to him and put this question. Is it possible for a man, a woman to marry seven men in a row? And then Jesus ended by telling them that, look, you are mistaken because you are thinking like men. I pray that we don't see life situation and think as men and women. You know, there's nothing impossible with God. When we face challenges, know that God has answers to every issue. Don't think as you would do, as men would do, as women would do, but know that God, the one we worship, has answers to everything. May God bring answers even when answers seem not to come our way. May He bless us now and always. Amen.